Hey, Newbie Dan here, and I just got a new saw stop job site table saw. Yes, I love it, and yes, it's everything I hoped it would be. But nothing is perfect. When I unlock the fence, it doesn't always stay right where it was. Sometimes it jumps a little to the left or to the right. This is a problem if I'm trying to sneak up on a cut. For instance, when I'm cutting runners for miter tracks, I usually cut them a little proud at first, then I adjust the fence in a really small amount to trim off a little bit, remeasure, and repeat the process if needed. But if the fence doesn't stay put when I unlock it, moving it a small amount is really hard, at least for me. So I'm using this thing I bought from Rockler months ago. It's called a micro adjuster for router table fence, although it works just fine with my saw stop fence. There's a link in the description if you want to buy it. Obviously, you can build your own if you want. At the time I shot this video, it cost $19.99. Like I said, I bought this months ago thinking it looked useful, but this is the first time I could actually put it to use. To use it, I clamp it, gently, on the fence track. I put some tape on it so it wouldn't scratch the track. If you don't want to do this, like I said before, you can always build your own, put padding on it, whatever. Once it's clamped, I snug it up to the fence. I don't want to tighten it too much or it won't accurately reflect the fence's position. Now I do my cut. If I need to move the fence again, I just unlock the fence, make sure it's still snug against the adjuster, then turn the knob a little. Pushing the fence against the track, I lock it down again and do my next cut. That's all there is to it. It works fantastic. And obviously this may work on other table saws depending on their fence tracks. Again, it's called a micro adjuster for router table fence sold by Rockler. Check out the link in the description or build your own. Thanks for watching.